in this video we are going to be doing a girl talk get ready with me which is a new series on my channel so make sure you subscribe if you like this type of content if you want to submit questions please follow me on instagram and comment down below and let me know if you want to submit questions for these types of videos and i'm just gonna jump straight into this look every product will be listed down below First of all, I have a hypothesis. I think that we all know what we truly, truly want to do in life. We're just not being honest with ourselves, whether it's because our family wants us to go to college and have a regular job, whether it's because we don't think that we can be successful in what we want to do. And something that I always think of is that a lot of people settle for their life and they never go after their dreams because of other people and you have to remember that nobody cares about you like the only person who will be pushing you to get everything that you want to get is yourself so that's something that really pushes me and you know I'm not perfect I'm still trying to get back to being consistent and that's going to happen um, I am not perfect by any means things aren't perfect like my dreams aren't 100% aligned yet but I'm going after what I want and I feel like that's something that I can genuinely say and something that a lot of people aren't doing they're kind of and it's fine if that's the life you want to live but I know to be fulfilled in this lifetime I need to do something creative like having YouTube having my own channel like being on video it just makes me so happy like nothing I've ever done before like the last time I remember being so happy with what I was doing was when I was a kid just painting and drawing and just like I would just like paint anything I would draw and I would bring it to my mom and I would just show her and I would just be super excited I would be in art competitions like that's the last time I remember being so happy with what I was doing and I don't know like I know a lot of people are like what would younger version of you think of yourself right now I know that I would be so happy like where I ended up and I want all of you guys to feel that way too just think of like things that you used to like when you were really young like what kind of things did you like what kind of things made you happy did you want to do something creative even if you didn't want to do something creative what is that thing that you constantly think about what's some and another thing what's something that you can talk about for 30 minutes straight and I think that is a good starter to figure out what your passion is I would genuinely say that I feel like I have manifested a lot of what I have right now you know what's so crazy so I was seeing a lot of TikToks about manifestations I saw the Meg Thee Stallion tweet where she manifested her success like I saw a lot of things like that on TikTok as well so I was thinking what have I manifested in my life besides YouTube of course and I've literally manifested moving to Florida I'm from Texas and the whole entire time I was in high school I was like huh I could just like I just know I'm either gonna be in Florida or California Florida or California I don't know how I know but I just know and that is a big thing with manifestation you have to genuinely believe that it's gonna happen for you I genuinely 110% knew that I wouldn't stay in Texas and I knew I would either go to Florida or California I don't know how I knew but I did and that is something that you want to remember with manifestation but you also have to remember especially when it comes to achieving goals when it has to do with manifestation you have to remember that 50% of manifesting is your work and the other 50% is the universe rewarding you. So let's say when it comes to, let's say you want to build your own fashion brand. You can't just make your website, make your Instagram page and not market yourself correctly. You know, not network, not reach out to influencers. You can't just do that and expect your line to be successful you have to put in the work you have to learn okay how am i gonna market this boutique how am i gonna market my line you know how many days per week am i gonna work on this 
how many influencers am I going to email? What am I releasing this month? You have to think of things like that because all of the opportunities and all of the money, it's not gonna just drop into your lap. You have to work your ass off for it. And I saw this amazing quote, which is fact. Basically, the quote is just saying that it doesn't matter how different you are, it matters how consistent you are. And ciao, that is the truth. Especially with YouTube and like creative outlets, if you wanna be like a creative person, anything in life, it really doesn't matter if you wanna be a creative. But consistency is key. Like, and I wish I would have known that. Even though it's cool to be different and it's cool to be your own person, have your own personality, yada, yada, yada. People don't care. Yeah, like your writer guys will care and it'll be interesting. It'll pique interest. But what people really care about is how consistent you are. Are you uploading enough? Are you being seen by enough people? Are you on the right trends are you consistent every single day it doesn't even only have to do with like your goals career wise it can also do with like your health fitness are you going to the gym five times a week are you eating correctly every day are you consistent because consistency makes a huge difference with everything and that is something that i wish i would have known earlier is that it really does not matter how different you are it matters how consistent you are for real though and right now i am just gonna get the nars laguna bronzer and bronze up my face but yeah so i'm telling you guys get a planner i have my little planner and i'm gonna do a video it'll be up next week so make sure you subscribe but the video is gonna be on my five everyday habits to keep my life together and basically, these are things I do every single day to stay consistent because, girl, as soon as I learn that, like, consistency is everything that literally changed my life, like, I can't even further explain that to you guys. Another thing that I have noticed is that it is really important for you to keep some things private. Like, I know you guys love those videos with the couple's channels and relationship goals and all of that stuff. But if you can keep a majority of your relationship private, I really urge you to do that. If you can keep like your money offline, like don't talk about money online, how much money you make. Of course, you can give like a ballpark without being super specific. That's okay. Like especially if you want to like say, oh, how I made like thousands, how I made millions this year. Da, da, da. Don't give out specific numbers. Don't give out anything specific about your life about what you want to do or what you have because people are jealous and not only are people really jealous or can be really jealous people can just like wish ill on you without you even knowing um like i said before people don't care about you like you think that they care about you so you have to be really careful about what you share Especially if you have really big goals for yourself that even like your family doesn't know and like close friends don't even know yet. Like I really urge you to keep that to yourself because they can say some things to you that really discourages you from doing it. Like for example, they could be like, why do you think you can do that? Like it's so rare that people are successful from doing that. You need to get a real job. You need to get a real yada, yada, yada. Or if it's about your relationship, Oh, you don't need to be with them. You need to keep a lot of things private because first of all, you are the only person who really knows you. And whatever you choose to do, whether you choose to stay with somebody, whether you choose to go down a certain path, that's your decision. And you can make any decision you want in life. And you don't want people discouraging you from doing what you want to do because at the end of the day, they don't know the full story. You only know the full story. So... I really urge you to keep things private girl like especially with these couple channels and stuff when things get really messy and they have all their business cheating rumors online it's just so embarrassing like just keep that off of the internet like nobody needs to know all of that about you and your partner or you and your goals like girl even family you don't need to tell anybody anything like of course 
if you really really need advice of course do that but close friends and family only don't blast that stuff online you want to keep things like that very low-key very private like even when you're quote-unquote glowing up or you know making better for yourself in your life you just want to make sure that you are around people who actually genuinely care about you not people who just want to know all your business and all your tea and you can clearly tell the difference between the two with how they respond when you tell them things. One of the best things that I've been doing for my manifestation recently is I've been journaling everything. So I have two vision boards. So I have one that's like a poster that goes on my wall, except it's not on my wall, like I rolled it up. But I just completed that vision board. After I saw Issa Rae's vision board, I was like, girl, I need to make one. And then I have like, I have a notebook kind of and I just like printed out pictures and like put it in my notebook so those are the two forms of vision boards that I have and I just look at those just to remind myself why I'm doing what I'm doing it's really easy to get lost and you can just forget why you're doing everything so it's really nice to have a vision board just to look at um, to inspire you to keep going after your goals because Nobody is going to push you like you're going to push you. And I feel like that is one of the biggest things with glowing up and changing your life is to get your goals in order just for yourself. I feel like as women, they really teach us to mold our goals around other people. For example, they teach us that we need to mold our goals to get a husband to have kids like basically we have to mold all of our goals around the existence of other people and i feel like that is not okay you should have your own individual goals that have absolutely nothing to do with other people make those selfish goals like for example some goals that i have made i'm gonna start going to the gym again okay i used to go to the gym all the time especially when i worked at the gym but i stopped because i've been just lazy i have no excuse y'all i just stopped i love this this dior lip gloss smells so good but i am going back to the gym and when i get really good and really consistent i'll upload a video on what i do but yeah that's my goal. My goal is to eat right. Y'all, I've been budgeting like crazy because you know I'm trying to move. So I've been low-key like living like insane. But I'm going to move next year. So I'm just really excited about that. And I'm excited to share that journey with you guys. But I really want to know what you guys are manifesting. What kind of things are you changing in your life? Have you grown a lot since 2020 I feel like emotionally I have like I can be a very closed off person emotionally just because I never felt like safe expressing affection because I never really got affection growing up if you can relate give me a thumbs up though <laughs> but yeah nobody hugged me as a child um it's not sad because I'm used to it but that's okay you just have to like grow up and learn how to develop secure attachment as an adult since you haven't had it as a child and that's something that i've been learning a lot like i've been learning how to do that and how to be more emotionally intelligent for sure and also do you guys want to submit questions for these types of get ready with me's i think it would be really fun instead of me just rambling it could be me like answering you guys' questions okay guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed if you did please give me a thumbs up and let me know some goals you have some things you want to manifest i would love to know love you guys so much thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye